We want to graph the solution to the quadratic inequality y is greater than or equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. Notice how the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, so because of the equal part of the inequality, when we graph the parabola, the graph is going to be solid. Let's make a note of this. And now we'll graph the corresponding quadratic function, which is y equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. And notice how the quadratic function is in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is often referred to as general form. Let's list the values of a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x squared. Because we have negative x squared here, a is negative one. b is the coefficient of x, which is positive two. And c is the constant, which is positive three. Because a is less than zero or negative, we also know the parabola opens down. Let's also make a note of this. And now to graph a quadratic function in this form, we first determine the axis of symmetry, which is x equals negative b divided by two a. And then from here, because the vertex is on the axis of symmetry, the x coordinate of the vertex is also negative b divided by two a. And then we find the corresponding function value to find the y coordinate of the vertex. So for the next step, let's determine the equation of the axis of symmetry. So again, we have x equals negative b divided by two a, which in our case is negative two divided by two times negative one, which is negative two divided by negative two, which is equal to positive one. So the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals one. Sometimes we just call this the axis. We also know the vertex has an x coordinate of positive one. So now to find the y coordinate, we substitute one into the quadratic equation. So if we substitute one for x, we have y equals the opposite of one squared plus two times one plus three. Simplifying, we have y equals, this will be negative one plus two plus three, which is positive four. We now know the y coordinate of the vertex is positive four. So let's plot the vertex and sketch the axis of symmetry. One comma four is this point here, the vertex. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line passing through this point, which is this vertical line here. And now let's find some additional points on the graph by determining the vertical or y-intercept as well as the horizontal or x-intercepts. Every point on the vertical axis has an x-coordinate of zero, which is why to find the y-intercept or vertical intercept, we set x equal to zero. So if we set x equal to zero, we have y equals the opposite of zero squared plus two times zero plus three. Simplifying, we just have y equals three, which means the y-intercept is the ordered pair zero comma three. Whenever the equation is in this form, the vertical intercept is always zero comma c. So the ordered pair zero comma three is this point here, which notice how is one unit to the left of the axis of symmetry which means there must be a corresponding point one unit to the right of the axis of symmetry, which is this point here with the order pair two comma three. So notice how we could sketch a graph of the parabola now. But before we do this, let's find the horizontal or x-intercepts. Any point on the horizontal axis has a y-coordinate of zero, which is why to find the x-intercepts, we set y equal to zero. Substituting zero for y gives us the equation zero equals the opposite of x squared plus two x plus three. To solve by factoring, we prefer to have the x squared term be positive, so we can either multiply both sides by negative one or factor a negative one from the right. Let's factor a negative one from the right. This will give us the equation zero equals negative one times the quantity positive x squared minus two x minus three. And now we'll factor the trinomial inside the parentheses into two binomials. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative three that add to negative two are negative three and positive one. The product on the right is equal to zero when x minus three is equal to zero, or when x plus one is equal to zero. X minus three is equal to zero when x equals three. X plus one is equal to zero when x equals negative one. We have two solutions and therefore we have two x-intercepts. One x-intercept is the order pair three comma zero, 
and the other is negative one comma zero. Let's plot these two points. Three comma zero is here, negative one comma zero is here. Notice both points are two units from the axis of symmetry. And now let's graph the parabola. And remember, because of the inequality symbol, we are making a solid graph. So the graph of the parabola looks like this. And now for the last step, we need to determine whether we shade inside the parabola or outside the parabola based upon the original inequality. The original inequality is y is greater than or equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. So because we have y is greater than negative x squared plus 2x plus 3, we shade above the vertex, or in this case, outside the parabola, which is this region here. But I always recommend selecting a test point to make sure the ordered pair for a point in this region does satisfy the original inequality. So for example, let's select this point here with the ordered pair four comma zero, just to verify it does satisfy this inequality. To perform the test, we substitute four for x and zero for y, which gives us zero is greater than or equal to the opposite of positive four squared plus two times four plus three. Simplifying on the right, the opposite of four squared is negative 16, plus two times four is eight, plus three. Negative 16 plus eight plus three is negative five. Zero greater than or equal to negative five is true, which means we did shade the correct region. Any point in this region, including the points on the parabola, will satisfy the original inequality, and therefore this region is the solution to the given inequality. I hope you found this helpful.